Okay, okay, here we go. Uh, good evening, also good night, uh, Luck and Ronnie. Uh, <laughs> because in the Philippines, it's, what time is it now? It's uh, 3 a.m. in the Philippines. Wow, wow, thank you. Thank you so much to dedicate uh, your time to us uh, in this Thanks interview, also. because this interview is very important, very important for us, very important. Uh, um, how are you? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm definitely good. Thanks for asking. Thanks for having me here, uh, Brother Claudio. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, today is a special day for us, for European guys. Uh, why? Because, uh, you know, in Europe, there are a lot of a lot of theories and a lot of philosophy and a lot of system of uh, empty hand. But uh, when, I, when I have seen your style, your Dumog, I say, hey, it's very, very different. I would like to understand more because the people in Europe do not understand, maybe, or understand something, but not exactly your, 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 your way because your way is very different. Uh, so I say, I, 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 I ask you this interview because it's very, very important to understand a very good and traditional way of Dumog. So I'm very happy for doing this, uh, that we are here now. Yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> and uh, I would like to ask you uh, the first question, because I don't want to lose our time, because uh, your time is very important. And then uh, I would like to ask you uh, the first question. The first question is about the lineage of your style, because your style is very effective. I see the movement, I see the breaking system striking a lot of things, a lot of way. I would like to ask you your, you know, your uh, your lineage, the lineage of your style. Okay, so um, let me uh, put it this way. Um, my answer will depend on the on on people's uh, interpretation of lineage. So what I mean is, um, if people ask me if um, I have uh, learned and studied from from a, a master. Um, with a certain period of time or like a long period of time, I can say that I have none of those uh, things. But if somebody asks me if I have trained with different masters, yes, I do have a lot of that. Okay. What I mean is, um, you know, um, it, it depends on, um, or, or my, my knowledge of lineage is, uh, depending on time you studied from a certain style or, uh, or, or certain master. So um, while others have lineage, I, uh, for me, um, um, you know, it's kind of little different. The way that I learned, um, learned my system is a little uh, bit different from, from, from others. So although I have um, um, I have background in, in boxing. Um, I have background in karate. A little bit, very little uh, background in karate. When I was a kid, I, I studied karate, and um, I also studied aikido. Um, um, also, I have um, um, I've learned some of the Arnie style when I was uh, in college because uh, during that time. Um, I've learned it uh, in physical education, like in PE, in uh, in academics, and yeah, I also um, uh, uh, learned mongoose. And from from mongoose, I had you know I had this experience um, that I this opens my mind into into martial arts. So I I've, I've seen a lot of different. Um, different techniques, different uh, types of principles in, in Mungus, which helped me to build this system of mine. And of course, with the help of different masters who, who uh, I met during my journey. So um, I got some ideas from them, you know, learning from them. Um, but again, um, if you ask me, okay, you learn Mungus, okay. Here's the thing. I learned Mongoose from my instructor. I, I trained with him only for three days. Oh. Only for three days. Good. And then when I, uh, uh, when I started teaching uh, the art of Sikaran, um, 
I met this uh, I met a student of mine who happens to know um, mongoose in a different different uh, different region. So it's the different style. So what uh, my experience with him is that he taught me like ten numbers, ten numbers of mongoose, and then he flew away. He went uh, went away to you know to uh, um, for for quite some time. And then I, I really studied what I've learned during those times. And then when he comes, he, he, he came back, he, uh, we finished everything. And what we did is we, um, we experiment, we experimented on two different styles. So every, every afternoon we, we went to the park to, to, to practice everything, to, you know, to experiment and to explore the system. We actually, you know, during that time, we invented techniques, so that helps me to really build this foundation that I we have now in uh, in LKP. It's great, it's great, a great philosophy. I see, I see the movement. I say, hey, lock it, cerrado, strike him, break him. I say, hey, <laughs> I never seen before because usually, you know, in a you know in the you know, they use a stick as a hands, but uh, you know. You, you have a different way of fighting. It's effective, really, really effective. Because you strike him before, lock him, break him, you know, and the people say, hey, what happened now? Because it's amazing, you know, it's uh, very good, very good, very effective. I, you know, you know, uh, when I was young, I, uh, um, I used to, you know, reading, reading books, magazines, you know, at that time, there's no internet, right? There's no YouTube. Only, only, only videos, you know, only videos on, on um, VHS, uh, uh, Betamax, like the old way. So I, I, I am fond of, you know, uh, watching those videos. And from there, I started to, I started to, uh, you know, to learn my way. So I'm, I'm like a self-taught martial artist. Wow, so, wow, very good, very good. You are open-minded, open-minded, yeah. never closed, never closed, open, open, yes. fantastic, fantastic. And uh, Lakam, please tell me, tell us about, tell us about your history, your history, okay? Your your idea, your history, everything about you, because it's very important. Okay, so um, I started, uh, you know, as far as I can remember, I started at the age of seven. Um, I started boxing. Uh, doing boxing with with my, my my father, so he taught me boxing, and then um, um, in the um, during my elementary days, uh, um, I also tried karate, but again, just like what I've said, it's it's a very short period of time. When I um, when I was gone to to uh, to high school, um, I tried aikido. Uh, Again, okay. I never, I never had a belt, like green belt or something. And I'm only, okay, never, never promoted into green or yellow belt. And then, yeah, you know, I, stopped because at that time, um, I think that that's um, like for financial reasons. So I, I stopped, um, uh, you know, for, for um, learning the Aikido. And yeah. then... I met this um, um, I, I a friend, a cousin of mine. He was from the province, and then he 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 went there. He went here in in Manila, you know, to to ask my mom's help um, for employment. So he's a teacher, actually. My mom is a teacher. So uh, um, yeah, and then um, one night, one night when he was drunk. He, he asked me to, you know, because he knows that I, I love martial arts. He asked me to come to, my, to, to his room and then he showed me this, uh, this style, which I love most, the style of mongoose. So, oh. with a very, very, um, you know, um, small room, he demonstrated, um, you know, the, 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 this system and it, it really amazes me. But never... Never had the time that he taught me about that. Very, he's very secretive, actually. 
the, the, I think the reason why he, he, you know, he opened that app is because he's drunk. Okay. Yes. And then, yes. and then, um, you know, um, time, time passes by, I went to college and then, uh, yeah, um, there's one subject that is being taught there, um, uh, in physical education and this is our niece. So I learned our niece the first time in, in physical education in, in, in the, in the school. Okay. And then there's a time that I have to, you know, uh, we have to uh, go to the province, my my, fa my uh, father's place. Um, there, this cousin of mine introduced me to a teacher in Mongoose in, in, in that same place. And again, um, the art of Mongoose is very secretive. You know, they, they, uh, they don't allow... Um, non-members of that particular religion because it's like a close group yes. uh, to, to share the two outside of that uh, uh, outside of that religion but um, this master happens to be my father's friend when he was still there so he recognized me oh your your uh, Nelson son so yeah I, yes. I'm you know I reach you the first time I I went there. I broke my hand. Oh, you know, you know um, style, the old old school style. <laughs> yes. So it, the test. So I broke my hand. So I happened to you know to pass. <laughs> and then yeah. when I heal, when I heal, I come back for two more <laughs> training. And yes. there, I, I <laughs> so and then um um. I I I, uh, I come to uh, I went to college and uh, when I was in college my first wife um, is um, a uh, daughter of um, one of the highest ranking um, ranking leader in in Sikaran um, in, in in that province so I was introduced to to uh, him by the way he's a grandmaster Romeo Pahe. So, um, actually, I got promoted black belt in Sakran not because of the Sikaran thing. It's because of the skills I have in empty hands. Yes. Yes. In regards to and then yes, from Sikaran good. there, I just, you know, I just study um, um, uh, the system. Other. Yes, yeah, the system is fantastic. You, you, uh, uh, yes. This is the way of effectiveness, you know. <laughs> you know the way of the of the of the belt. No, you're using the way you follow the way of effectiveness. It's fantastic. I, I just uh, just there are a lot of people that right now okay like a comments uh, you know here Grandmaster Darren Tibon uh, say welcome to Legacy World Lacaroni, Master Herrera, other masters, a lot of masters here. Yeah, one from Tunisia also. Oh, it's fantastic. I am happy for this because very, very important to your style. So I, I wanted that the people know in Europe also your, your way. I would like to ask you uh, a good a, a question, a special question, because uh, as I said before, uh, in Europe, the people uh, is, are a little bit confusion, you know, in the, in the Dumog, because they, they, uh, someone think that Dumog is, uh, is uh, how to use the empty, empty hands like a, you know, like a stick or like a, like a knife. But I would like to ask you, what is Dumog? That's, that's the question, you know, the big question of today, you know. <laughs> okay, so um, um, Dumog per se is a, a, uh, is a Visayan word um, that um, uh, signifies grappling. So we have here in the Philippines uh, Dumog, but this type of dumog is, um, in my opinion, based on what I saw on, on, on some videos, uh, you know, presented to me, um, it's like a um, sophisticated um, wrestling. One of those videos or two of those videos I saw, it's, it's just like that. The unsophisticated um, um, way of wrestling. So it's not really technical, you know, they are just... Um, you know, uh, two guys wrestling each other, and that's it. And um, 
um, from what I heard and from what I saw, there's uh, it is also used by uh, by the Piketty Tirshek group to uh, mob. And um, the way I, I, I see it, it's like um, more of a silat like um, art. So um, that's what I uh, I saw about um, this uh, type of dumog. But LLKP dumog, however, is um, is a little bit different because it it um, it is a mixture of styles. So it's not really all Filipino, you know. Um, because my my um, my way is to when, when I see something very useful and effective, I see to it that I, that I adopt this this uh, uh, you know uh, specific uh, um, yes. kind of thing. Yes. So what I did is I inc incorporated uh, those systems into into my system, and you know um, so if you will see me perform, you will see a little bit of grappling or like BJJ, you, you'll see a little bit of sila, you'll see a little bit of mungus, you'll see a little bit of wrestling. So it's a mixture of them. Uh, maybe the difference is I um, I make sure that I uh, and I incorporate um, concepts from Kali. You know, um, putting yes. uh, um, putting the blade system into it. You know the the blade mentality into it, so I think that's makes it uh, a, a little bit different. So I have this weapon I we used in Dumo. Actually, oh. I got this one from um, from also the the style of mongoose. This is uh, this is what they call the mongoose ring. So this is a type of ring which has blade on it. So if oh you, great, there they. So it has oh, a blade. Wow. wow, I see, I see. Fantastic. Fantastic. It, it, is, uh, it is worn invertedly, not like this. Okay, yes. it is worn invertedly, so it's, it's, very it's smart. a hidden... Very, yes, very smart, because during a fight, it's a, it's a weapon. Yes, correct. Very, very dangerous weapon because of the, you know, because it is hidden. You can see it. And this is all about, you know, Dumo is all about touching the opponent, right? Yes. So, um, if if you will have, you know, contact with a Dumo practitioner wearing this, it's going to be very, very, uh, yeah, you know. Very dangerous. Uh, yeah. Very, very dangerous. dangerous. And it can <laughs> cut through your veins, you know, you know, th those, those uh, vulnerable parts of your body. It can it can be attacked by this ring. I never seen before. I was in the Philippines. I live it in the Philippines, but I never seen before. It's a crazy. You know, every time, every time I interview a master, my mind explosion. You know, <laughs> because another I never seen before. It's fantastic way. Yeah, it's very they hide and discover. You cannot see. You cannot see. And uh, wow, it's uh, great. So great. This, this, um, um, I think um, um, this like separates us from the from other for, from other systems of um, grappling arts so yes. this weapon here uh, the concept of the fma um, this separates us from the from other grappling arts but again i don't um, discount those uh, th those systems because it is really effective that we had to adopt also in, in, in our style, those, the, yes. those systems. Yes, fantastic. Thank you, thank you for this. You see a lot of, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of principles here. Fantastic. But now I have a big question for you because I like, I love it, the, this question, okay? The question is, LKP Dumog in real fight, if you have uh, experience or something like that, if something happens in the time. To use any, of my dumog during a fight, and uh, I'm happy with that. You know, yeah. uh, I, I don't want to use it as much as possible. But um, but um, you know, during my days, you know, you know, uh, younger days, um, we used to brawl. We used to brawl not with uh, um, not with the grappling. I had an experience once. Um, one guy, one guy. 
uh, tries to, you know, you, you, uh, choke me, Not something like that, like the Carabao, Carabao choke, something like that. So what I remembered at that time is I squeezed his groin. I never let go of his groin. He yelled, you know, he yelled crazy. And then um, after after uh, uh, those people around us separated us, he never did attack me again. You know, th th that aggression of his at the beginning, it's gone. It's gone when I did that. So, um, it, um, you know, based from what that experience, I can say now that using dirty tactics in Dumo will be more effective than just, you know, just just doing the locks. You know, of course, um, in, in, in MMA, uh, they use a lot of um, BJJ there, right? Yes. But yes. again, in the ring, there are rules. And yet, you can see that they are effective. <laughs> right? So, exactly, right. Absolutely. Ask, if somebody asks me, oh, if is your Dumog um, like um, effective in real in real fight? If you believe that BJJ is effective and if you believe that wrestling is effective, you don't have a choice but to believe that also uh, Dumog is also effective because we practice BJJ, we practice wrestling, we practice like we practice everything. Yes, <laughs> right? very good. In addition to um, you know the concept of uh, of FMA that uses weapon. Yes. Okay. Yes. If somebody shoots me, okay. If somebody shoots me, and um, you know want to take me to the ground, if I have this weapon, I can simply go to the troll and then cut him off, right? <laughs> if I don't have that weapon, I can simply go to the eyes. Like for example, somebody. Um, you know, um, a magic right. just to put me down, and I'm on the guard position, and he's on top of me. Why not use an eye gouge, right? But it's it's prohibited in the in the ring. Yes. Even the yes. Of the finger, because one of the um, you know one of the um, concept I teach my student is to really go get the finger. Because with uh, with with um, with um, using the finger, very hard to to you know for an opponent to you know to really counter. For example, yes. um, you know the Sankyu in in uh, in in Aikido, right? This one, yes. the number yes. two technique. Yes. Right. Yes. So we're also we also have that here in Dumo. So um, we're actually twisting the wrist. And uh, yeah, there's mm, high possibility of counters there. But if I secure the finger together with that uh, technique, yeah, a hundred percent, it's very hard to you know. It's yeah, very hard to yeah, count. absolutely, absolutely right. Yes, fantastic. You know. <laughs> yeah, my, my point is, um, my point is, there are certain rules in in the in the ring or in the when we are doing competition that is not applied because of you know for safety reasons yes, but absolutely. in, in lkp dumo there are no rules see to it that there are no rules this is survival yeah survival yes. no no for the yeah not for the you know the first place of the tournament over <laughs> oh i understand you yeah fantastic but but if we will try to, you know, if you will, if you want to try it, we have to sparring, sparring. We have to do sparring, right? Yeah. And during sparring, of course, we avoid doing those things. We just focus on, um, you know, positioning, um, you know, fighting for positions and um, doing the locks, that, uh, um, you know, doing locks and, and counters. Of course, we can still do that. But again, we're talking about street fight. In street fight, there's no rules. Everything goes. You can poke the eye. We can. You can even, you know, um, grab the hair. Because one of the signature style in mongoose is hair pulling. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yes, we, we tend, uh, you know, to 
uh, pull the uh, the pull hair the, yeah. all the time. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's a great. thing if you, you know, if you will uh, uh, follow the to, norms, it's a I, pull the hair, I need right? to cut. I need to cut. You know, I, I need to cut my yeah. hair. Because, <laughs> no, we're, we're like, we don't have much hair, right? But there we, if we, um, we are taught to, you know, pull the ears, you know, pull the, 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 the mouth. Yeah, the mouth, just yeah, the nose. The yes. ear on the mouth, and then you pull that one. So it's really, really very dangerous um, style. Um, and this is, you know, at the time I felt, you know, I fell in love. I fell in love with the style that I have to, you know, put it on my skin. Uh, during that Great. time, so really, really um, fell in love with the style of, of Great, great, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, you see, you real fight. This is a real fight. It's not for you know. You use uh, yeah. all the points, all the points of our body. It's fantastic, fantastic. It, yeah. I invited other people to see your videos in order to understand because when I talk, I talk. But uh, when when the people see, when the Euro people pe people see your video, they will understand what, what we talk about, because it's very, very, very important. Also, if you can, please uh, send us out your video later after this interview, if you like it, in the comments, because the people moment, because the people need to see what, what, what is your style, because it's fantastic, fantastic way of fighting, real fighting, real fighting. Yeah, great. And, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, bro, um, mm -hmm. one more thing. Of course, there is an art aspect in every system, right? So, what uh, art aspect, um, you will use it in real fight. So, you you have to um, recognize those things. The art aspect remains on the on the training school. You know, uh, the uh, the practical aspect of that is will go outside. This yes. is what you will use. Right? Like in Cali, we have Arensa, you know, we, we, some, some of us, we are doing the uh, flowery movement. Yeah. Okay, and, 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 um, and um, somebody would uh, watch it and, uh, uh, and uh, say, um, oh, you cannot use that um, in real fight. Those, uh, those dancing of yours, you cannot, be, of course, because these are just shadow, shadow thing. You know, it is, it's like expression, art expression. Yes, so, fantastic. But Great. definitely can use our knees or Kali effectively in a fight. Great. Great. Great philosophy. Great philosophy. These two principles are very, very important. Very important. Yeah, I, I need to record all the principles <laughs> from all the masters here because, you know, <laughs> a lot of <laughs> Oh, great. Great. Uh, I have I have another question because the people uh, continue comments here I see in uh, from Europe and from the other places I see other countries. I would like to ask you about the Europe, the development in Europe. What do you think about the development in Europe? Or if you have some school, just just if you have some school in Europe, where and uh, what, what do you think about the development in Europe? That's another important question for us. At the moment, we have um, we have uh, one in Spain. We have one in Spain. It's um, under Guru Joni Landeliar. So it's a um, it's a, our uh, he's the LKP representative there, bearing the tribe name uh, Itak Tagalog. So um, he can be um, uh, he, he 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 knows Panuntukan, Dumog. Um, and night. So this is his specialty. When you go to Germany, we have Guru Misha, which knows uh, also this empty hand forms of uh, of uh, LKP, and also he, he knows about the uh, um, the the pound stick. This one. Ah, pound the, stick. Yes, yes. The doodle doodle, -do, more popularly known as doodle -do -do. And also yeah. in Germany, we have um, three. Um, three teachers there uh, for Baston Dumo. These, these oh. are uh, um, Guru Jan, uh, Jan Kruspix and uh, Sebastian Kruspix. These are twins, brothers. And one also, um, is uh, his name is Karsten. Karsten Rome. 
Nagasane Karsten Rome in Germany. Great. So, Great. Go to Germany. Germany, Spain. Space, you can contact them. Great, great. Yes, I invite all the people in Europe, please contact this master in Dumont because it's very, very, very good. I, I confirm. <laughs> I confirm. Great, great. And also, I would like to ask you another question because the people now, uh, you know, the, the, this uh, situation of virus or something like that, you know, the, the problem of, and the people are going to make some, you know, online courses. I would like to ask you if you have Online courses or uh, you know class, special class or something like that. I would like to ask you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, actually, we uh, we finish um, two courses now, Baston Dumog, which happens on last year. Um, in it ended like uh, February, so uh, and start we started the uh, after that we started Panutukan and just ended uh, two weeks ago. So now we're opening up for Dumo courses, and now we're on Dumo course right now. So Great. yeah, and then, um, I can see a, a lot of people, you know, um, who because of this situation, like you, what you've said, um, you know, prevents them from from going out and train with, you know, uh, uh, train with their their school, their their classmates. And um, this is a very good um, platform that Great. they can still that they can still study, you know, even without contact with other people. Some people Great. would say, "Oh, it's very hard." Of course, it is. Okay, but you know, um, better better than you know, never um, learning at all, yeah. right? Yeah. Because yeah, absolutely. I am um, I am a uh, like a witness of that. I am also a product of you know watching videos on DVDs at the time when I was a kid, when I was uh, um, young, and this helps me a lot to acquire what I have now. So you know, um, yeah. So um, luckily during the pandemic last year. I was uh, one of the. I was one of those who used this um, this Zoom classes as uh, you know as my way to to um, yeah. continue continue yeah. my yeah. my teaching. Yeah, and it works. And when, yeah, great. I'm happy for this because the people can continue to practice in your style and learn it. Continue, never stop. I would like to ask you if, if when the next. The next online courses, if you have just uh, you know schedule. Okay, that way. we can go on with the online uh, courses. Actually, um, we have nine participants who already registered, but uh, unfortunately, two, um, only two, um, could be able to attend the class. So what I did is that um, um, I told the participants if if it's okay with them to. To um, I will send a pre-recorded videos each week, you know, for them to you know for them to study, and then um, they have to they have to do it and and um, um, present it to me through videos um, as well for my uh, assessment and corrections. And um, um, for this, they will um, they will, we will save each other's time, right? So they also have the opportunity to, to choose uh, the best time for them, them to train. So they are not obliged to attend during weekends. Yes. So Great. and and we still follow the the, the four month period. Yes. So um, if, if um, anybody there watching, um, if you still want to, you know, um, enroll. In this course, you can still do so. Um, you know, you just have to, you know, um, contact me for for details. Yeah, and I, I'll be Great. happy to help. Awesome, awesome, fantastic. Because uh, yeah, you you permit to the people uh, in the coronavirus uh, period to continue the study in your yeah. in your style. Fantastic, good, very good, very good, very smart idea, very good idea too. 
<laughs> very smart. <laughs> okay, another another question because people ask at me uh, every time people ask at me something. Now you know, <laughs> so I would like ask you now the program of your style, the program, because if people want to know uh, an idea of the program, because the program is important for the people when the start, when the beginning and the end of the program, you see the, the grade, uh, the, the levels or something like that, if you have. Okay, so um, we have three levels in Dumo, um, the basic, the intermediate and the advanced. Um, for the basic levels, we teach them fundamentals, like basic um, basic falling, basic um, um, ground positions, stances, footworks, um, releasing techniques, clinching, um, the shoot and sprawl, etc. And then in the intermediate level, they will um, um, they will be introduced into the lock flow, lockings. Lock flow, standing and um, um, ground, lock the flow ground. and it's application and also foot trappings and throwing, the flows and application, uh, the jerking technique. So jerking technique is very important in the art of Dumo. Okay, this this idea, this concept also, this is what I got from, from the Mongol style, uh, the jerking techniques. By the way, this is the this is the technique wherein you uh, troubleshoot or you, you uh, um, short circuit the brain you know, to delay its function to counter. Okay. So okay, it's like sudden pull and push. You know, uh, you know, shock uh, the, yes. the brain. Yes. Yes. So great. this is uh, you also learn this uh, in the intermediate level, and we also have the sensitivity drills for for Dumo, like um, flow, free flowing. So it's like a it's like a um, pre-arranged um, sparring but you it's it's random but it's like random techniques and then on the third level um, they will uh, in, be introduced into the uh, uh, the numbering system our numerada so that's 1 to 30 plus the variations of it so, that's yeah. it. And also, uh, we also have a very very um, unique um, know game here in 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 Duma. we call it the frog fight so uh, the frog fight frog like a frog like a man, right so we wrestle on a very low stance like um so we we play the uh, the game in this stance Okay, our rules, there's no striking, only grabbing, only, you know, only pushing, um, you know, breaking the, the posture and everything. So the rule is, um, those, the, the player who touches, uh, who touches uh, the ground, okay, the, the, there's only one, okay. there's only one um, part of the body that will touch the ground. It's only the, it's only the feet. Okay. Ah, if I touch the ground with my hand, you earn a point. If I drop, you earn a point. If I kneel, happen to kneel, you earn a point. So this is very um, good uh, training for the legs. Absolutely. And Absolutely. strike technique. Wow, great. And there's a, uh, like a net, if you stand up, again, you, uh, you get deducted. Great. Great training, great training. Yes, it's uh, good for the next model, you know, um, combine. Yes, good, good. Uh, another question now is about the weapons, the weapons of LKP, because uh, all the styles are in the Philippines as a weapons. No? So I would like to ask you the weapons of uh, LKP system. Um, okay, so I have here different weapons in me. So okay. Um, we uh, we teach karambit in in our system we teach karambit. So this is a uh, live karambit from the uh, from the north northern Luzon um, northern Luzon yes. part of the Philippines. So this is what we use in 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 Larawkali. Um, 
also we use uh, you know um, some sort of an axe I, I call this one a kampalagot it's a fusion of three weapons it's a, a so this oh. is how it looks yes so wow um, great very good uh, I, not this uh, there is a blade here that resembles um, with a sickle like this one here okay for hooking for hooking and of course um, very noticeable that this is an axe so this is this serves an axe you have a spike yeah. here okay and you have a little knife here <laughs> two yes it's very dangerous very dangerous <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so very uh, good. Nice, nice um, weapon. It, nice weapon. Wow. This is uh, a uh, dummy weapon. I have um, a live. Oh, weapon just a here. moment, just a moment, just a moment, Lakan. I have a problem. Just a moment, one second. Yeah, sure. Just a second. The problem of go live, you know. <laughs> now it's okay. Perfect. Because you see, when we are online, you know, <laughs> some problems arrive. You know, I just low battery because we talk a lot and I'm happy for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, great, great. Okay. Uh, thank you for this because it's very important to understand the weapons too, because uh, particular weapons, I'm happy to see this. And for the, for me, the first time I see the hex with the, with the you know, with the, with the other point of you know in order to strike to you know to break yes too fantastic fantastic this one yeah uh, we also yeah we also use this one the, the, the rope so um um well other system use the sarong i use the rope we use this uh, as the uh, substitute of course with the blades and everything we also have the um the pound stick um, every Filipino uh, martial arts uh, like Kali, they, they use this one also. And uh, for the um, for the military, I use the paracord as uh, my uh, my flexible weapon. You know, of course the uh, or of course the baton. Um, and um, for for this for the patpatpalad, the uh, tactical pen and everything and um we also have this nerve stick here the nerve stick the flat stick ah, sure. so good. it's very good um, you know self-defense tool um especially when when you are faced with the uh, with the knifer with the weapon that ca uh, with the uh, person who carries knife it's very very good tool it's it's a it's, hardwood it's a hardwood 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 this is uh, what we call the Bahi. Bahi, yes. Bahi. Yes. Bahi. Yeah. Yeah, so Great. Um, um, better to have a, a hardwood than, you know, um, um, Daratan or the. Uh, every time. Like an every time I learn a lot because I never seen this kind of weapons, you know, for, for me the first time. But I was in the Philippines. Uh, every time I opened my mind, <laughs> it's a fantastic because, weapon. You know, still, if you carry the weapon, uh, you, you are not permitted to carry the weapon here in the Philippines, right? Especially when you're like a normal person, you yes. don't uh, you don't use it as a form of your livelihood. So you're not allowed to carry one. You know. So what I recommend that uh, you carry here is a piece of stick. You know, a piece of stick that can be useful to, uh, to um, anything. Okay. Like when somebody has uh, a, a knife. You know, you can neutralize him with this. Okay, yes. if you have multiple opponents and you carry this type, of, you know, weapon, you know, your your um your your opponents will you know will scatter and then fly away, right? No problem. So, of course, of course. Great. And if, yeah. when you go to the the mall or airport, you will not be you know um, you will not be uh. You have no problem for you. Yeah, there's no problem with it. I understand you. Uh, and then 
the another question that I would like to ask you about the future of FMA, because uh, you know, um, for me it's important to ask you this question because you know people wanna wanna you know wanna build the FMA in the world and also in uh, in the Europe too. So I would like to ask you what you think about the future of FMA. Um, what I can say is, um, unlike before, I can see uh, a bright future for, for FMA. You know, um, also here, before in the Philippines, um, um, only few people knows of their own art. Okay, when, when you ask somebody, you know, um, do you know our niece or what, what is that? You know, but now it is being introduced um, everywhere. Like in school, we have that as uh, a physical education. And very lately, um, in 2009, I think, it was um, declared as our national sports and martial arts. So this helps a lot from the uh, for the uh, uh, propagation of the, the art. And... Um, as I can see, uh, um, globally, th they are patronizing um, Kali. Every part of the world, th there is Kali. And for as long as um, we have teachers, um, FMA teachers, who continually promoting the, the, the art, the system, it will, yes. never, it will never go off. You know, yes. um, um, even in the films, right? You can see films everywhere yes. you can see color. in the um they even have this program like um they're doing the aerobics but yes. with the cali concert so um i can see that this uh this is the bird or this is like the uh the step wherein um fma Will, will truly rise. Before we have karate, this is very popular, but now I can see that uh, FMA is starting to, yeah. to grow up. And with your with your promotion, because you have a lot of followers, I see, and a lot of people follow your your system of Dumog, and then you know, uh, it's a very very important that you don't stop your promotion. Because your promotion is fantastic, you continue in that way. You never stop. Today, now, now in the Philippines, are so you know here at the, at the morning, but you are here with me to talk. You know, it's this is uh, this is the attitude, the great attitude. So I, I I only can say thank you so much because you you have a lot, you have a lot to do. <laughs> you never stop. Always my pleasure. No, always my pleasure. I'm very very passionate with what I do. You know, this is uh, this is my life. You know, um, martial arts is my life. Ever since when I was a kid, I always think of, uh, of this. But I never thought that I will be like um, on this, uh, like w w w where I where I am now. So I really embrace um, doing this uh, this kind of thing, and I'm very very happy uh, to, to share it with uh, with um, everyone who wish to, to learn it. Great, and I hope uh, the best of the best to you, Lakan, because, uh, you know, the energy that you put in this interview, the people can see, because you stop me and, uh, you know, you demonstrate me on the chair what to do, and it's fantastic, you know. The, the energy, the energy is fantastic that you use uh, in order to demonstrate your style and to promote your style with the passion that you have. So, thank you so much, really. Thank you so much, not only for me, but for the people of the Europe because the people need to know a lot of things about your style also, because it's a fantastic way of fighting. And I hope the people, uh, you know, uh, will, uh, you know will, will turn and then understand your style and follow you more than, the, than today also. So I am happy. I am very happy for this interview, Lakan. Uh, Thank you for giving so, me this opportunity to my brother. Yeah, I, I never stop because I have your, your same passion. <laughs> for FM, ah, yeah. the same passion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, for so, as long as there are people like you, you know, um, FMA will flourish. Definitely flourish. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Laka. Thank you so much. And uh, I hope the best for you. And uh, please, uh, 
if you can uh, put your, your your video the best video here and if you have the you know online courses uh, please put in our channel and then uh, i hope and i and i push that because uh, because i am happy i'm very happy that uh, that you are here now and i would like the people continue in that way thank you so much thank you lakan thank you